What is going on everyone? It is Milbro here with uh, day 12 and yes you're hearing that right while sitting overnight doing some combining and crafting I have uh, found uh, myself uh, having some company. A bit of a dog horde and decided to roll in. With, uh, with all that being said I'm going to spend my challenges while I'm still in safety. And I will be with you in just a moment. Alright, I've spun the wheels and um, today's mission is to get uh, three POIs fully looted. The uh, reward, if I uh, succeed, is uh, the uh, is a military helmet and I also get to... Uh, I can't upgrade the horde base for the next episode if I uh, fail this, uh, so kind of a critical mission to to do. Last episode I did fail the challenge of upping my tool quality by, uh, by 50 levels and, and so I can't use 760 ammo in this episode which not a big deal I got plenty of 9 mil and shotgun shells. I did get all the parts of the mini bike crafted that are necessary. Just clean up inventory a little bit. Load up the 9 mil here, and shotguns loaded. Hopefully, shotguns are, I mean, dogs aren't right outside. Oh boy, here they come. Gotta be careful of these guys. I believe it is a dog day, which is a, uh, which is, um, from what I remember, it's supposedly like on, like happens every so often. I know day 12 is one of them. I think uh, it happens. It's they come around two days before a horde. There we go. Two dogs down. Don't know if there's any more. Morning, Mikey. Good to see you, buddy. Nice little weapon. I bought weapons from you. Some oil and some lead. Got a sweat. Uh, coming over to say hello. Ow. Damn you, sweat. You decided to injure me. Yeah, well. No biggie. Um, before I forget, let's, uh, not, not Mikey. Chop the dogs up before I forget anything. Just get them out of the way. There we go. You're chopped up. And take care of this guy He's shaking his head like no 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 no. Funny little puppy. You're the one to decide to come and attack me. So I believe it's like with dog days. It's uh, it's uh, um, they home in on your base like uh. Once that day rolls around, like your current location, like at the time of the day, it's like, uh, I believe once the day rolls around. Just want to get myself patched up here. There we go. And carry some wood over. Um, well, I want, I'm planning on taking on a, taking a road trip, so at the very least, uh, I want to get some I want to get some iron bars crafting just have that out and down to the old uh I don't want to burn everything here but all these iron bars being crafted up I do want to And that'll be okay. I do want to just start converting the base over to the horde part of the base over to, uh, what do you call it, um, iron bars. All that is uh, at the moment is just cobblestone frames because I could shoot through those. Um, 
do a little bit of preparations here. Grab the knife. Um, where is it at? First aid and grab a stack of first aid bandages. Yeah, I have two goals uh, thinking that I want to accomplish. Because I have a concrete mix unlocked, I do want to find uh, either a desert biome and for sand, or what would be even better would be a wasteland biome that I can go to and destroy the ground. Because, uh, Storing wasteland ground gives you sand and all uh, sand and stones, so it's very good for making and concrete on this version. Get the mini bike ready. Do have a perfect set of wheels for the for the mini bike. Make some gas out of the. And refill it. Best way, fastest way to refill the, the, the mini bike is just to uh, slap some uh, um. Come on, what am I thinking of? Just go in and hit the refill button because you do this. Like uh, you'll see the refill option when when you hurt when you hold the uh, hold the old. Uh, triangle button or Y button if you're on Xbox. You know, you just gotta get the old, uh... It'll only do 250 at a time. Am I about ready? Uh... I would say just about. Got stuff on the craft, but... Just give me a second while I replant the, the maple trees. I planted the maple trees and got a screamer. Got to take her out. Just heard her scream. I didn't even see her. Ooh, there we go. Silence of the Lambs. Done. Got got some company. Take you and take down Curly here real quick. Come here, buddy. Out, Nancy. Please don't. There we go. Take out old Nance. Got Psycho Steve hanging out with a nurse sweat. Rolling through. Come on, girly, you know you should go down by now. There you go. Marla, good to see you. There we go. 31 skill points of skill. Come here. We'll just leave the we'll leave on the zombies for now. They should despawn by the time I come back. We're gonna head uh, out of town to the northeast. Yeah, my other little goal uh, with this is I do want to find a trader that is closer and preferably not in wasteland biome it's like even though i do have a mini bike now i would prefer not to have to um you know battle every dog on the planet just by going in there let's jump it on the road and i will catch up with you guys uh, once i find something interesting as I'm taking out old Psycho Steve here, <laughs> sorry about your head, buddy, <laughs> but, uh, I did want to address this, because, uh, one of you did, uh, bring this up in the last episode, Challenge Master, that you're a little bit upset that I have the cheat menu enabled here. I do want to <laughs> discuss this uh, for a second. 
that this is literally I literally only have this enabled for uh for the rewards. Like when I give like a uh, uh whoop. Um my bad. I accidentally misclicked that. Let me take care of my computer a bit. Like, come on. Don't need to interrupt me. Let me just clear this out real quick. Um, with this uh, cheat menu, I don't give myself anything. Uh, not like any special blocks or resources. I, I honestly don't cheat. So it's like, um, say like uh. If I complete a reward, then my say like it's a shotgun part, like a shotgun barrel, like a shotgun short barrel. Literally, I only have this just to give myself the rewards, and I spin wheels and to determine my mission, and and then my reward and my penalty. If I complete the mission successfully, then I give myself like a short shotgun barrel. This is literally for just giving myself a reward. I earned that. It, the gameplay is just vanilla. It's the only way I can get around and like and do this. If uh, I could mod this version on console, yo, know, then I would literally do that. Like, you know, get myself a special quest, you know, that says this, like, yo. Know, but unfortunately, there's no way around it. That's literally what I do. Other than that, I do not cheat. So, just wanted to address that. Another thing is, like, also, I did travel these roads out of town. They are dead ends. So, what I think is, since I... Actually, I see a road going over there. Let's head over there. But while I'm heading over to this road and hopefully going further east is, uh... I do want to say, you know, like, when you use, like, tell us, saying, like, you know, uh, commented on older videos saying that I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, like, you haven't played a console version, this console version for over a year now, which, uh, and, you know, but you did see that, uh, you know, the, this, uh, version, it will, uh, that the new version of Seven Days to Die is coming out later this year, which now you're very excited to see it, which I am very excited as well. It's like glad to see you like someone else is getting excited about this and and uh it's just as much as I am, it's like, yo, know, I literally started this channel upon uh you know, on this version, you know in anticipation of it, uh Apocalypse Edition. That, that is literally what this version, what the new version, is going to be called uh, for seven days. Uh, yeah, it's coming out later this year. And those of you, if you're going to uh, talk, you know, like if you're going to ask in the comments, it is a new version, not an update to this version. It's like uh, as uh, so. A lot of people are aware of the console version, like this version. It's no longer updated. It's just it's been it's gone through illegal hell, and you know for the fun pimps to get their get their rights to the name back on console version, and uh, they are. But they uh, this the publishers Telltale Games uh, went under and. And they have a new company, uh, I think they're based out of Australia, developing it with, uh, um, what am I trying to say? They're developing it and it's coming out as, it's planned to be coming out as Alpha 22 version, which will, uh, be basically the most up-to-date version of PC. 
and I am extremely excited for it, and I know some people probably won't be too happy with, uh, you know, like the Lord by looting system, but I mean, I'm just excited to see you know, all the new zombies, the new POIs and everything, and, and all this uh, sort of stuff. It's, it's just exciting and a nice breath of fresh air. As I was uh, discussing all this, uh, there is a traitor over to the east. Pretty far east. Looks like this road is going to uh, hook up to the Hub City. Because it's like, uh, not too far north of it. Very interesting that we got a snow biome, which don't see very often. And it's... So if anything, we should be coming up on on hub. We got Penny roaming around there. Well, let's see. Let's take a sharp turn to the east. These roads can be very kind of unpredictable. Like as you saw earlier, like uh, on my map, it's like some of the roads uh, just abruptly end. And it's like, that's one thing that, uh, Apocalypse Edition won't have, and it's like, uh, it's going to be, uh, like, you're gonna see a lot more of the roads, like, you know, kinda actually going somewhere. And <laughs> you know, leading to towns and everything, and... I'm going, like, I'm... It's like, I am... Like many other people, eagerly anticipating Apocalypse Edition to come out, and... It's, uh, you know, you get actual, have actual quests and all this, uh, all that stuff, you know, have, like, dungeon-style POIs, like, say what you will about it, but it's like, I think, uh, Apocalypse Edition is going to be a very good thing for, for the game, especially on, uh, if the Fun Pimps can, uh, get, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, they can get approved for crossplay between Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. It's you know there's uh, there's uh, other creators uh, that uh, you know on Xbox that uh, I'd have to do some more research. I I haven't watched too many other uh, console uh, content creators. Uh, the only one I really know of right off the top of my head is, uh, uh, Spartan85. He's, uh, he does Xbox version of, of the game, and, um, if, uh, if, uh, sorry, my, I just have not brain farts here, but, uh, you know, if the game got approved for for crossplay, you know, then that would open up a lot of possibilities, like, you know, wouldn't mean, like, you know, say, like, you know, it's like, I will definitely look into more, uh, creators, especially if there is, uh, another one on PlayStation, I, and that, uh, you know, that, you know, like, if there's somebody on PlayStation that plays and does content for YouTube, I would definitely love to, Collaborate, you know, what's in one of them, and if you guys watch anybody else that has, uh, you know, that has, uh, that, uh, does seven days on PlayStation, like, please let me know, like, you know, their name that way. I could potentially reach out to them, because, like, uh, I have built up what I have, uh, over, you know, just by myself, which, uh, even though it may not be much to some people, it's a lot to me, and, you know, would love to just, uh, collab with someone else, you know, on PlayStation. It'd be, it'd be uh, very uh, fun, and, you know, the 70s uh, community is a very good community. Uh, stop for a second here. Loot this, uh, car real quick. Uh, just some gunpowder, but... I thought I saw another traitor 
often in this direction. But if anything, mark that traitor off. I don't want to stick in here and stick around here for too long because I have a because uh, I don't I'm not exactly suited for for winter weather. Got one of these um I guess you call it land bridges. Whole lot of snow biome. Getting a little tired driving. We did find a desert though. Which means that is very good for for concrete production, which I think will definitely uh, take a little bit of time just to and grab some sand. But let's stop here and just can take some time to oh, we do you have a mission to take care of? Yeah, is this your house, uh, hey buddy? Okay. There you go. This can and some brass. Oh, Charlie, good to see you. How are we doing? Oh, hi, Bob. What's going on? Came over to see uh, Mikey and Charlie. Ow. Come on, you know better than that. Oh, got a sweat. Sweat crawling through the reeds. There you go. Never Mikey Roman Brown. There you go, enjoy. A hoodie. Um scrap that red sweatshirt. I already have a hoodie. Interesting. That means I need a better pair of pants. Just bust in through here and see what we got. Not too much, but hey, it'll count towards one of our POIs need to loot. Gas can't back. Good for a point of science. Charlie, how we doing, buddy? Congratulations, you won. Uh, you won your prize. Shotgun. There you go. Enjoy your um, your four rounds of shotgun. Check out the old tree stump here. One thing I've noticed with those tree stumps is they generally give really good loot, but uh, for whatever reason. When you're in a snow biome, they drop even better loot. It may seem crazy, but it's like uh, when I would play, when I would play like uh, like on my own, like not recording anything, I would literally get uh, like I would find really good loot out of those tree stumps in the in the old uh, snow biome. It's just one of those, like, it seems like a weird little anomaly, but it's like, it, that's one of the interesting little quirks about, uh, this version of console that I've noticed. It's unusual like that. Got a ear of corn, a potato, and a beer. Man, all I need now is a steak, and then we'd be, uh, no, uh, we'd basically have a, uh, classic meal. Your steak and veggies. Oh, with your beer. Oh, thirsty. Um, grilled meat, because I know we're a little hungry. Oh, pretty hungry. Means I uh, should get a couple points of wellness out of this. Come on. One more should top me off. Ooh, we are up to... Oh, I didn't bring any water. Ah, we should be fine. Put this garbage up. 
and wooden chair should be fine. Level 27 is scavenging. I'm gonna break into this gun safe real quick. And we are in. Shotgun long barrel and a shotgun short barrel. And not much. Forgot to loot the nightstand apparently. I'm good on dirty glasses. Did I loot the upper cabinets? No, I didn't, but really not missing out on much. Other than that jar honey. Fridge has been looted. Looks right through here. <laughs> While we get some stuff sorted out. I'd say that's about looted. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a couple minutes to and get some sand and I will be back with you shortly. So I'm just about done digging up some sand here, but I did want to show you like here in the desert biome, you can get uh, shown and sand just by digging one block down, then uh, you know, all of this is literally uh, gives you sand and stone. It is. So it's pretty good for making concrete mix. It really helps out with your. It's not as good as uh, giving you uh, your. Uh, given the old, uh, how do you say, uh, your wasteland uh, ground, which uh, gives you about, uh, gives you more sand uh, and stone. But it is exceptional for doing, uh, but this is still really good. So I've got about 1200 stone, I got, no, 1200 sand and 320 stone, so I'd say uh, call it good. You call it good for there, but uh, my apologies, but uh, get back on the road again and start uh, getting some more. Uh, see if we can find a couple more POIs. It is starting to get late. There is a crossroads way out in the distance. But, I'm gonna start... I think I'll go into the desert some more just to make sure I at least get some of it mapped out. Like, that way I remember, like, hey, yo, you can come and get sand here. It's just one of those, it's like, one, I want to find a, a side road, because if you find a side road, you can get a... And then... That means there's a POI over there, and what do we have here? Oh, I was getting excited for a second. I thought we found a cave. If we found a cave, I would have been really excited because of a uh, oh, there's another traitor. Hopefully it's not a Trader Bob. It, it's one of those, it's like, I find Trader Bob so much on the, on the console version here. Got a water tower hanging out here. But, not gonna get too close. Are you serious? It's Trader Bob. One of those, it's like, I find him, like, uh, I found him in yesterday's episode, uh, upload of uh, Rufus's Rampage, which is, uh, and he was my traitor in, in the Hunter series, if you watched it through that. It, I'm not, I'm not upset about finding a traitor, but, holy cow, I find, uh, it's like, uh, since he's, uh, he's like, uh, hey. Tra like a Trader Bob is uh, the trailer wreck to my woodle. That in case you in case you don't know that like you know or you don't know who Jewoodle is, it's like he you know I love watching his content like you know but uh 
oftentimes, like for him, he'll find uh, he'll find Trader wrecked a, a ton of the time, and it's like, uh, you know, I know at least in the older versions, you would find Trader Trader wrecked a lot, like uh, almost to the point where he couldn't get away from him. traveling up this road here, just to pull this gravel path here to see what's on the what's on the old loot. Uh, POI path here. Could be a just a path for all I know. Ooh, we got a little campsite here. Hello, Marla and uh, and Darla. There you go, sweetie. Take care, Arlo. Mikey and Bikey. Man, double day with twins. Where are the odds of that? There you go. Oh, Benny, you can come here for... Okay, I don't even want to know what's going on here. Bikey, come on. Penny, you get to you get to take your nap too. Up in the old tree stump. Come on, cooler. And nothing there. Just a can. Um, got a dead Charlie. Hunting rifle, receiver, and a stock. I'll just put these together for. Just to put them in for. and a magnum frame. Very nice. I was planning on bringing the old. Uh, nope, not not that. Bringing the workbench with to. combine some stuff, but. oh well, that's. Some, I got some storage in the old mini bike. If only you guys would give me some water, that'd be great. Anybody got water? Thank you. I got a skirt. Yeah, don't really want it. That's about. Got pistol parts and a shotgun receiver. Don't hop on the bike. Yeah, that's two out of three POIs looted. I'm just gonna jump on the main road again and see if, uh... I'm gonna see if I can find another path before nighttime and, and complete our mission. Had a couple failures uh, that I would kinda like to get back on the path to success again. So I was done some cruising down the road, I did find a split of uh, the road, uh... And we've ran into a town. Way down here. If you're following this series, it is... I want to say about... It's about 1500 to south by... Let's just call it 870 south uh, to... 870... Like 850 east. I'm gonna just get a little bit of the way of the land here, you know, see what's in this town. It's like, I'll at least stay the night in here, see what, you know, what we got, you know, but I don't really want to stay here for too long, like, uh, probably just drive back to, uh, old, uh, drive back to the original town and kind of, you know, get the base prepped a little bit more and uh, for for the horde night and then we'll come down here and we'll loot some more. Just one of those, uh, a brief little pit stop. Yeah, we've got Shaka Messiah here, you can tell by the awning. 
Got crack a book, so some potential schematics here. If I can get around the car. Yep, shotgun messiah. Crack a book, the good stuff. Passing gas is is hanging out there. Nice size old town. Road going southwest out of town. The gas and the passing gas and next to the Brother Theater. Lovely. Got a burnout house. Yeah, some residential. We've got a scrapyard and our burnt house. Yeah, nice sized little town. Got a road going out of in town to the south to, to the southeast. Very nice, very nice. Got a, got one of the prisons. Man, this place seems to, for the most part to be uh, chalked to the broom with the uh, town hill with POI salute. I think we got a good idea of how big this town is, though. Let's just stop and loot, uh, am I gone? We'll shack up here for the night. Uh, yeah, that's how big her town is here. And it's really not that far from, uh, from Trader Bob over there. So if anything, uh, we could use this as a forward operating base. Hello, Nancy. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, how nice you have blood bag and all this. Um, take the hunting knife out of the inventory and grab the old uh, fire axe. We'll start popping this place open. Start with the trash. Bill lead. Oops. Steve, do you have an appointment here, buddy? Come on, Tony. Ow. No. Well, I guess you do now. Coffins. I don't think there's too much in these. But Valvera seed. Not too much in there. Hey. Hey, finally the McDivers book. For scrap armor. I can go one that book. I'm just to get myself at least a you know, basic set of uh, heavy armor going. Fly right through that. We got, we got <laughs> Curly and Burly here. Annie wanted to say hello to me too. Come one, come all. I have a club for you with your names on it. There we go. Curly down. Curly. Curly, curly. This town's really interesting because it's like it's got your usual residential stuff, but then it's got the old west town and stuff and, and even burnt stuff. Ow, guys. No. Oh, I got stuck on the old railing. Uh. Make kit. Just get myself some health back. There you go, Annie. Early, come on. There you go. Her sweat hanging in. Come on. That was a little dark, guys. Let me just give me a second here while I break this open. Voila. And then the old sink. No wrench, that's great for repairing. Because I don't have steel smithing unlocked yet. Otherwise I would craft a bit of I would add some the uh wrench repair by now. Thing the old toilet. Break through here real fast. Got the got the service area. Oh, that's a good storage chest right there. Anything in the bookcase? 
There are pointers within, uh, from uh, that schematic. Other than that, more paper. Anything in you? Yeah, generally those have nothing in them. Break right through here. I think these, some of these are. Yeah, some of these are uh, opened. Not much, though. Kind of what you'd expect out of the out of the uh, cremation area. Um, a little bit more in here. Cooking pot for iron. Check the store real quick. Search the furnaces real quick. Just some coal in there. And nothing there. It is nighttime, but I'm gonna call that a mission success. Uh we do have company though. So just throw that in the coffin real quick, and I'm going to make a secure storage test. I'm just real quick. You can bear with me a second while I deal with the light. Just want to throw all this in. Got to lock and load and defend myself here. There we go, got a flashlight on the old shoddy. Alright guys, where you at? There you go, Annie. I don't really care if I'm making too much of a ruckus. Oh. Did you break through that? Bleeding, 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 bleeding. Curly wants some of the old 9 mil. Quit destroying the old uh, funeral home. Just want to check real quick. No, I'd say we're good. Maybe... Yeah, I'll call that a, I'll call that a success for this episode. I'm just gonna hang out in the... Hang out in the... The Amagon Funeral Home here, and... I hope you enjoyed, and I thank y'all so much for watching. Maybe even subscribe. Take care, everybody.